This video is sponsored by Skillshare, which offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Jordan's messages. What rhymes with tamed, blamed, and somehow relates to messages? We looked for five minutes straight. We found the only word that fit. Aspartamed. You want that cheap, you want that cheap stuff? Okay, <laughs> you can go somewhere else. If you want the real deal, you come here where you can't be aspartamed. You're gonna get the real sugar here. <laughs> You're gonna get the real stuff. This is nice coconut or cane sugar. This is nice cane sugar. Organic. Too. This is nice organ or organic or, or organic organic cane sugar right here. Okay. Don't have too much of it. If you have too much messages, you it, it can do something to you mentally. That it, it when I'm doing it, it can lead you to dark places <laughs> if you keep answering them over and over and over again. Don't be like me, okay? But be like me. Can't be aspartamed. Let's get to the messages. Dear Jordan and Josh, I was 100% homeschooled. I'm guessing that means pre-kindergarten pre from birth till now. 100% homeschooled. Never went to prom, never dated anyone. I wasn't even around people who were romantic. That's how you know you're 100% homeschooled, I guess. <laughs> now I'm 27 and dating a 35-year-old Christian girl who is amazing and also very attractive, Josh. She dropped hints that we should date for about a year before I finally asked her out. It took a whole year. Now we have been dating for about a year. We we are getting pretty serious about marriage. Uh, she has made it known. She has made it know, sorry, that she would like a little more physical affection. Not bad stuff, Josh, but Christian approved physical affection. We have never even held hands. She's like, just touch me with a fingernail. Like that other girl in the other message. And he just touch, touch my Please. arm with a fingernail. Come on. Just the other day, she texted that we have waited so long. He's just getting all these texts. Please, she's blowing up your phone. We have waited so long for a first kiss that there is a lot of pressure. I'm a shy little biscuit. 100% homeschooled. What kind of situation merits a first kiss? And how do I go about it? Sincerely don't want a first kiss wedding, but it might be. <laughs> Look, I, what kind of situation merits a first kiss and how do you go about it? I, would say I had all that context for that, for that, for that question. I thought this was leading somewhere else. I could, you could have cut the entire message and said, what kind of situation merits a first kiss and how do you go about it? the end. Instead, I had to read this side story, 27 year old, 35 year old, who's desperately wanting to kiss. So I guess the reason for the context was saying this person is hyper pressured by this, the, by this, the 35 year old hyper pre I mean, it is every second. She's ready to get things going. She, she needs this. Okay. It's been 35 years. I'm assuming she was homeschooled hundred percent too. 35 years, nothing. You haven't even you, you haven't so much as put an index finger on her arm. <laughs> Nothing. Where, when, how, why? I like you well enough, haha, <laughs> but uh... <laughs> that was the context, okay? Now, for that situation, then, when is a great time to... To first kiss. Look, forget the first kiss. Let's have a first touch. Just <laughs> touch her arm. Let's, let's, let's get to step one. Okay. That's, we're running around the bases. That's like, that's not even, that's not, that's not base one for you. That's like, you, you've swung and missed. That's what hit touching her arm. Okay. Then maybe hold her hand. Okay. That's taking, See the, how that goes. that's, that's, that's hitting the ball and, and taking the first step to first base. Okay. This is a message. Of course, so that's where we live. You not see my t-shirt? You can buy one of these, honestly. Supportblindingcow.com. It's the only place to get these, these babies. This isn't aspartame, Josh. This is the real deal. <laughs> this stuff is high quality. 
printed these ourselves. You're getting stressed out. I'm getting stressed out about the first kiss. J like I'm saying, just, just, just start with something simple first. Break it down into building blocks and then decide if things are going well, then decide about maybe having a kiss. Maybe you realize after this, you know what, honestly, I don't know about this whole thing. Okay, maybe, maybe not, but that's up to you, okay? But we need building blocks first and she's stressing you out with the first kiss. You just need some building blocks, that's it. Dear Jordan and Josh, is it possible for a girl to get out of the friend zone? Yes. I know guys can, but I feel like that's because girls can love because they were loved. <laughs> She's thought way too much about this. I feel like that's because girls can love because they were loved. Like the guy really, I, I, I see what she's saying. The guy loves her and she's like, wow, he really cares about me. And then she has feelings because loved. she has been loved. I'm not a girl. I don't know if that's true. You tell me, apparently it is true. You had this really nice linguistic poetic moment there for a second. But with guys, it's like, they're not gonna change their mind even if you run after them, false. If he's had the chance to like you and doesn't, he probably never will. I'm wondering because I've liked this guy for the past two years and there were times when I thought we had moments. But last year I told him he should ask me out and he didn't respond positively. Is there any hope or should I move on? Okay, look, you cannot move into these huge generalities. Is it possible for a girl to be out of the friend zone who's been in there for two years, okay? That is a massive generality. You need to break it down to your situation. Is it possible that after two years and I brought up, hey, maybe we should date, and then he was like, uh, is it possible for us, for me, to break out of the friend zone? Okay, we're not throwing all girls into this. This is just you. This is just your situation right here, right now. And I'm going to be honest with you, and I I hate to say it, it's not looking good at this point. It's not, it's not looking like it's a good situation, and I don't know if you should hold on to hope. Now, is that possible to do? No. You will always hold on to hope, in my humble opinion. But you can diminish the hope to the point where if it happened, it will blow your mind and you will, you will be so ready for it. But at the same time, if it doesn't happen, there's so little disappointment because you basically forgot about it, okay? That's just, that's the human mind right there. You expect nothing and if it happens, it, it, well. Right again. I would say right now, there is not much hope and you should move on. But I think that there is still hope and that you should still move on. <laughs> just, just move on enough. But instinctively, you will always stay back a little tiny bit and that's okay. As long as it doesn't control your mind, then it's fine. <laughs> Now I know you're watching this and you're praying for a miracle because there is no way you can intake all of the knowledge I am providing you. It's impossible. It is literally impossible to absorb it all. It's easy to get discouraged, I know. I live here constantly in my brain. But what if I told you that there is a place where you can gain new skills and upgrade the ones you already have? That place, my friends is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. They have something for everyone, regardless of how much you already know going in. They recently added a course by a fellow YouTube channel, which is really, really cool. YouTube success, script, shoot, and edit by MKBHD by Marcus Brownlee. If you're interested in making YouTube videos, this is a fantastic place to start. Skillshare is curious 
curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than 10 bucks a month with an annual subscription. Plus the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. Again, that's a free trial of premium membership when you click the link in the description below. Do it now. Let's get back to the messages. Hello, Taylor gang. So I have a predicament. I recently broke up with my girlfriend and we did some not so great things together, uh -oh. if you know what I mean. Oh, no. And some other things too. Whoa. We, wait, we did some not so great things together and some other things too. Oh no. What does that mean? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Is that better or worse? So my question is, how do I not make the same mistakes again and making up for what I have done in the past because I want to date someone else but I think I did too much with my ex dad that I don't feel like I deserve to date anyone else that's better. Sincerely, a homeschooler having done some not so homeschooler stuff. This is a doozy mentally. This is a mental doozy for you and I'm going to be completely honest. It is probably going to take you a long time, a long time to get over this. This is the human mind, the human homeschooler mind. I don't know if other people are like this. I have no, I don't know other people, okay? But I know the human homeschooler mind and the human homeschooler mind, it will take a long time to get over this. Now, is it possible to get over this? Yes, I know people who have gotten over this stuff, okay? It is possible, but I think the key here is don't feel like this is what will destroy you. It's not necessarily what happened, okay? And honestly, they could just mean that they held this person's hand. I seriously Are doubt that's the what- other they... things? I don't know. Is that what they meant? Probably not. They probably meant some other, like more serious things. Josh, just poked myself in the eye. Oh but because of that, that doesn't mean, I don't want you to get into this space where you're like, I don't deserve to, to be with a good person. I'm bad. I am in the category of bad now. I moved from perfect to horrible with one moment, and with one stuff. and other stuff that helped push me along the way. Perfect, horrible. This is the problem with a lot of homeschoolers. They have the mentality that they are perfect, that their worldview and everything about like their family and how their family does stuff and their morals and everything and all that stuff is makes them perfect. And when they slip up, and I'm talking about even just a little thing, other stuff, other stuff whatever the other stuff is, like a little thing that they think, oh, oh I don't know if my family would have agreed that I did that. And, and, it may, and maybe it was something that wasn't good, but then all of a sudden that perfect goes to the worst. <laughs> I am the worst human on planet earth. And that is a very terrible thing to do. And that's, I think that's what's going on here. So, um, I, look, I would say, I, I, I would say the, the simple thing is just don't have that mindset. Don't have that mindset and you, you know what? You can still be with somebody good. This doesn't define your entire life. And uh, you, look, you, you, people can be forgiven. It is so simple as that. It's so simple. Your advice has been so beautiful today. Can't be aspartamed. If you want that cheap stuff, you go somewhere else. Get out. Support a message! I, did, I couldn't find the page. There is this girl from my church that I met three years ago on a youth group mission trip. Ever since then, we've been close friends and we consider each other best friends. Two years ago, I realized I had feelings for her and broke up with my girlfriend at the time because I wanted to date this girl, but I was 18 and she was 15. I still like this girl, but this is messy because of one thing. I'm sort of a player. They admit it. I tend to enter relationships too fast and date people just because they are pretty. I don't know if I actually like someone till months later. I have chosen to stay out of a relationship for the past four months for this reason. I'm 20 and she's 17 now. This is looking much better. And I'm transferring to a university next year. She's one of the kindest and prettiest girls I know, which is 
not many. Oh, they don't know many girls. And she's a good, <laughs> there's not many pretty girls out there is what I thought they were saying. <laughs> and she's a good Christian, but she has never had a boyfriend before and I do not want to be anyone's first boyfriend ever again. Those relationships never turn out well for me because of the maturity difference. I have, there's so much, sure. In, in contrast with the other relationships, which apparently turned out great since he's single. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oof. I have only flirted with her a minimal amount to restrain myself. I know there are plenty of fish in the sea, but I know he's comparing women to fish. But I feel like I found a seahorse. <laughs> this is getting even worse. Do I try my best to be with this seahorse? He's really going down this way. Or wait till I find another. Okay, look, this whole concept is just stupid. Is this a supporter? This, the fish and the seahorse is this a supporter? All right, let me let me let me let me calm it down. Let me calm it down. <laughs> calm it down. Real back, Jordan. The concept is is stupid though. That <laughs> look, don't you, you, you can't say I will never date somebody. I'm freeing this person's mind, Josh. That's why I'm saying what they're thinking is stupid because I'm helping them. You're saying, I will, n I know who I am, and I will never date somebody who has never had a boyfriend before. Because I know myself, and I'm in the maturity, and I, I did, that just seemed, it like, instinctively, you know what I mean? It just, it feels weird. It feels, it doesn't feel, it, it, it feels like, it, it feels too self-aware. There's something about that just feels, so, Look, I, you seem like a great person. Okay, I don't know who wrote this, but you seem like a great person. You seem grounded. You seem like you, ha you know, everybody has flaws. Like you're saying you're a player, fine. Okay, but you're saying, I know this. Sorry, I just moved. Uh, I knocked everything at all at once. I'm very sorry. You're saying, I know this, maybe this negative thing about myself, but I am trying actively to not be that way and put myself in situations. That's an extremely admirable thing. We never get messages like this. So I'm I, look, I'm I, I'm patting you on the back. This is this is incredible. But don't do yourself too much of a disservice and and say I'm reading myself so much that even though I, I you know I actually really like this girl and I'm certain to see you know the seahorse and and I and I and, I, and I'm different now because I, I have this this you know I know this stuff about myself and I still can't be with them because you know, because they had never dated somebody before. That's what I'm saying is kind of dumb. Don't, don't do that. Okay. You're doing great in being self-aware about yourself and your flaws and stuff, but you're being too self-aware to the point that it's actually harming you. Okay. Um, I, I, look, I think this has the chance to be a great relationship and considering you've liked this person for a significant amount of time now, I mean, look, I, again, I can't be blamed for this stuff or aspartame really, but I, I think that you that 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 you know you, you need to stop holding yourself back so much. Okay, that, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh, do the outro first. Oh oh oh. Uh, I was about to do the bonus message, but you know what? You don't get the bonus message because you are not a supporter. Go to supportblindmacow.com and you will get access to the bonus message, which I am looking at right now as we speak and. First year seminary student, you know that's gonna be good. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't be messy. And support blindmacow.com to watch the bonus message.